by Monday mornings. Tuesdays you can keep. Wednesdays only halfway there. By Thursday I'm asleep. So I'm taking back my weekend, cause it belongs to me. From Friday night through Sunday I control my destiny. The weekend is here again, time to unwind. More than just a few days off, it's a state of mind. Weekends, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekends, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekends. We are going to grill something exotic here at the Delta Sherwood Inn with executive chef Michael Cadado, but it isn't going to be chipmunk, I promise you that. What is it going to be, Michael? Well, Vince, uh, I think today we're gonna try a little bit of bison tenderloin. Bison, buffalo? Buffalo, that's correct. So what we're going to do here is just trim off a little bit of the excess tissue and fat. Now, what part do we have here? This is the tenderloin. Oh, so this is the, the part of where... Well, I'll show you. If you turn around for a second, uh, it comes right down I'll your back buffalo. under the ribs, right yeah. around through there. Okay. How lovely. So, uh, it's the most tender, <laughs> tender part of the animal. While you're doing that, can I do something over here? We're going to also do some grilled vegetables with it. Yes. Uh, well, why don't you begin with uh, taking the stems off those portobello mushrooms. Oh. And we're going to put them on whole? Yep. Okay. I'll just remove all the seeds. Yeah. Nice big pieces that won't fall between the grill. And as far as marinating this, do you have to? Well, uh, you know what? I'd say no. You almost don't have to marinate it with anything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that tender already. We want to season it with salt and pepper though, just to, to bring out those natural flavors. I would not use anything else that might overpower it though. And it doesn't taste gamey. No, it doesn't. And uh, that's a common misconception about uh, wild meats. If they're overcooked, then yes, they will taste gamey. Mm -hmm. What we can do now is just cut off uh, whatever size of tenderloin you might like. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll just take this piece of bison. It's about an eight ounce portion that's been lightly seasoned. Mm -hmm. I'll just put it on the grill over here. There we go. Now, I also want to get a light sauce going oh, great. now. So we're going to use a little bit of this all good barbecue when you start with whiskey. And we'll put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of port in. Put a little bit of 35% cream in. I know you're going to say 35% cream. That's, that's uh, whipping cream, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay but it uh, makes a very good sauce. Well, we're gonna add a bit of Pomery Dijon mustard to this as our sauce. Now, this is just whole grain mustard. If you look closely, you can just see the whole little mustard grains that are still in there. And it's a Dijon mustard base. Dijon mustard can be spicy. This is not, this is very mild. So what we'll do is we'll just add that into the pot. Just like that. Lots of it. Well, uh, we're actually- Generous amounts. We're actually mm -hmm. using the mustard to thicken the cream as opposed to reducing the cream Oh, that's a good idea. Go. How long would we be cooking this for? Well, it depends uh, where you want to cook it to. Now, I'd recommend eating any meat medium rare, mm -hmm. like beef or bison. A lot of people choose to eat it medium or medium well, in which case you leave it on a little longer. Uh, a piece like this probably will take about five to 10 minutes to cook. Okay, I have the vegetables seasoned and ready to go. On. Oh, I'll put them on, sure. As long as they have nice grill marks. I think that's the telltale. That looks wonderful. Is it finished? Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of sauce on it. Ah, oh, yes, the sauce. Mm, does that ever look good? Okay, this is mine. Everybody else, you can go to uh, a burger joint. I'll be having bison for lunch today. Oh, give me a home where those buffalo roam. Mmm, it tastes great.